My phone rang at 7.30 in the morning on the 24th of February. The dialer was my American friend from my high school days in the US. He was the last person I expected to call, especially at 7.30 in the morning. I knew immediately that the war has actually broken out. The beginning of the war did not surprise me, in fact it's long overdue. What surprised me was the fact that he knew nothing about the suffering that the Russian Ukrainians had endured over the past 8 years. Let me get something straight. NATO promised that they wouldn't move an inch to the east. That was a lie. And now we are surrounded by an aggressive military alliance. NATO gladly bombed Yugoslavia under the pretenses of a potential genocide. Did they bomb just military installations? No. NATO destroyed schools, hospitals, bridges, cultural monuments, private businesses, and industrial plants. Did you forget about that? Did you forget about how NATO pumped money and weapons into Georgia right before Georgia bombarded Russian peacekeepers and civilians? Of course you did because your media doesn't want you to know. Did you forget how yet another territory was ripped away from Serbia? Do you not remember Kosovo? Did you protest then? I bet you didn't and I bet you didn't even care. Did you forget the invasion of Libya? If you're in Europe, you can't forget. Thousands of migrants are your daily reminder of what your governments did to that country. Did you protest the illegal invasion of Syria by Turkey in the US? I bet you didn't. Do you care about Saudi Arabia starving Yemen? I bet you don't. Do you care or did you care about the illegal invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan under false pretenses? What, they aren't people to you? Why haven't you been vocal against the murder of children and civilians at Iraqi and Afghani weddings by American bombardment? Ah, that's right. They're brown people. They're probably worth less to you. Where were your crocodile tears when Kiev started bombarding Ukrainian Russians in the east simply for doing the exact same thing as the Ukrainians did in the west, was to get rid of a corrupt government? Where were your crocodile tears when Kiev shut off electricity and water to Crimea? Where was your save the Ukrainian people when 48 civilian anti-Maidan Ukrainian protesters were rounded into a union trade house and burned alive whilst those who tried to escape the fiery hell were beaten and shot? Do you by any chance know who the, who the Madonna of Gorlovka is? Do you know who the or what the Alley of Angels memorial is? Let me give you a hint. People engraved into that memorial aren't alive and they are not adults. Did you shed even one digital virtue signaling tear when the children at the children's beach in Zagres were purposefully bombed by the Ukrainian military using illegal cluster bombs? I bet you didn't, but that's okay. How would you? Your mainstream media keeps you in the dark. For eight years, the US and its allies have been pumping billions of dollars worth of lethal weapons into Ukraine. For eight years, the Ukrainians have been waging a war with their own people in the East. And for seven years, uh, Russia and the people of the Donetsk and Lugansk republics have been patiently waiting for Kiev to adhere to the Minsk agreements. Should Russia have waited maybe 20 more years? You know, uh, the amount of years that the US spent killing Afghanis? So whilst leaders like Boris Johnson, Joe Biden, Emmanuel Macron, uh, Olaf Scholz and Ursula von der Leyen have been virtue signaling about the poor Ukrainians, they have been robbing the Ukrainians of their dignity, making their economy run on loans from the IMF and basically robbing them of their future. And Russia is to blame when we were their primary trading partner. The West pushed Russia into a corner. Protect yourself from an increasingly hostile neighbor who wants to become part of a hostile military alliance called NATO and lose Nord Stream 2, for example. Or watch Russian Ukrainians get slaughtered by the thousands. The West wanted to fight this war with Russia until the very last Ukrainian. Remember Kosovo? Well, the Lugansk and Donetsk republics have every right to exist. Russia didn't set the precedent. Your leaders did when they recognized Kosovo. And final food for thought. Why was there no bombardment of innocent civilians in Crimea, even though it's closer to Kiev than Donetsk is? I'll give you a hint. The actual Russian military was there, protecting the people. Here's another. The Ukrainian army has been fighting this invisible Russian army for eight years now in the east, according to your mainstream media. Why then did the Ukrainian army collapse within 24 hours when fighting the actual Russian military? And since it did, what do you think your tax dollars were doing in Ukraine. That's right. Your tax dollars were used by Ukrainians in the West to kill Ukrainians in the East. And you didn't give a flying fuck about it.
So if you haven't been following this conflict from day one and now you put the blue and yellow flag on your photo, wipe away your crocodile tears, please, and find out why your governments have been supporting those who have made a Nazi criminal, Stepan Bandera, their national war hero. Don't expect a good result from pushing a bear and the dragon into a corner. And definitely don't be surprised when that bear and that dragon begin pushing back. So if you haven't been crying for the collectively millions of dead Iraqis, Afghanis, Syrians, Libyans, Yugoslavians, and East Ukrainians these past 20 years, but you're crying crocodile tears for Ukrainian military installations, wipe them away and think about what your governments have been doing and what they're still doing. And I hope that this eight year story of a war started by a criminal Ukrainian government against its own people can finally come to an end and Ukrainians and Russians can finally live in peace.